Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to another video guys. So today this is a, uh, hey gosh, see I'm so excited because the video I am doing today, hey, hey I know you guys are gonna like it, okay? Today's video we are going to quickly go down through some mistakes that new YouTubers make here on YouTube. Why am I talking about mistakes today? Because nobody is about mistakes, okay? Nobody is perfect. And even on YouTube, there are some mistakes that you're gonna do, darling, and you'll be like, is that me? <laughs> Did I just do that? That's why I'm doing this video today. So I want you to quickly settle in, my darling, and let's dive right into it. If you're new here, feel much, 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 much welcome. This is your bubbly baby mama, okay? And if you're a returning subscriber, you know you mean the world to me. You know how much I take a prosciutto So just sit down, relax, feel at home, and let's just begin. I'd say the first and most I don't know the most important mistake I don't I don't know which word to use to show you guys the magnanimity of this word okay the first mistake is impatience some of new youtubers they come today and they want that tomorrow they have up to 5,000 subscribers and the next tomorrow they have like 2,000.5 K views and the next tomorrow they are getting all the uh, paid promotion jobs around it is not happening like that darling calm down okay if you enter youtube just know that you have to be patient those people you see having 50,000 subscribers those people you see having 20 something views once they upload a video within 30 minutes the video has 900 and something views and they're like yeah those people started early they did not start today like you okay so you have to calm down it doesn't mean that if you're not getting the views today you're not going to get them forever you're going to get it but it's a matter of time okay so patience very very important at number two most new youtubers they use poor lightings poor vo voice okay when you're recording your video if you know you don't have a ring light it's not a problem not everybody can afford a ring light anyway because not every every youtuber is, is capable financially okay not everybody can do that but at least try and not do your videos at night you can choose to do them during the day face the door or the window use a natural light okay and i'm doing this right now using natural light so that you know that what i'm saying is the truth can you see my face are you not seeing me you're seeing me right that is what you do and then you have to make sure that you project your voice let people hear what you're saying don't come and be talking like you're very very far i want to see what you're saying i want to hear what you say i want to listen to you because of the title you have down there but i have to be like wait somebody is talking no talk let me hear you raise your raise your head like this and allow your voice to come out do you understand? Don't come here and be doing a video. You are a new YouTuber. You are looking for subscribers. You want people to know you, to notice you and subscribe to you. And your voice is so low. It doesn't work that way, okay? At number three, hey, this one is introduction. Hmm. Some of our new YouTubers came and they learned that there's something called channel introduction. Or more, anytime they want to start their video, they'll be introducing themselves for the first three minutes. I'm still watching your introduction, Oga, madam, it's not supposed to be like that, okay? Most times if you check, like new YouTubers, if you check people's um, view time or click-through rate or stuff like that, you find that most people will be staying for four to five minutes and then they leave. So if your video is ten minutes long and three minutes or four minutes is introduction, by the time it's four minutes, already the person is bored and going. He hasn't even had anything you have to say. So you have to make sure that your intro is not supposed to be long. It's supposed to be brief, straight to the point, and let it make sense. Don't come with so long intros that do not make sense. Okay? Another mistake. I think this is mistake number four. This is how you react to trolls on YouTube. Some of you, you have opened a YouTube channel and you think as a new YouTuber that everybody is going to like you. Oga, okay? hey, not everybody is going to like you. Some people just don't like you because you have a flat nose, okay? They want you to have a longer nose. And my question to you is this. Would you imagine 
my big head with a long nose, how I'd look. I have a flat nose because that is what is suitable for the kind of head I'm carrying, for the kind of round face I have, okay? So, people will come and talk. And this thing has been going on. Even to big YouTubers, you find that people will just come to your comment section and start talking negativities about somebody who has 100,000 uh, 100, subscribers, 1 million subscribers. There are still some people. You have a million followers, but there are still some people who are confused. Some people whose village people are after them. Some people who the devil is using to make you lose your momentum. That will still come to your comment section and talk negative. So I want you to develop a thick skin as a new YouTuber. Know that not everybody is going to like you. Not everybody is going to like what you do. Some of you, you even live big compared to others. And that is why some of them will be viewing your videos. Hey, your house, you have washing machine. You have a dishwasher. You have this. You have that. You have dryer. You have fridge. You have gas. Some of them don't have. And that is just enough to make them hate you. They will come and start giving you negative comments. Some of them go as far as insulting YouTubers' children. And you're like, hey, okay, I am the one who is a YouTuber. What did my child do to you? What has my child got to do with the fact that it is me doing YouTube? They go up, up to that point. So you have to learn very well that you have to make sure that these trolls don't get into your head and not into your heart. Because if you start taking everything in and absorbing, you're going to lose the momentum you had, you're going to lose the excitement you had, you're going to lose the hopes, the passion, the everything. Then you'll just see your channel is going to start suffering. And when your channel is suffering, it's really, really going to show and we want to avoid that as much as we can. Okay? So another thing, hey <laughs> God, that I wanted to tell you people. Most new YouTubers make content that is not searchable. You come and be telling me how you and your husband are eating. You come and be telling me, it's like all the time, all the time, those are the kind of contents you're doing. Nobody is going to search how you and your husband are eating. When you are a new YouTuber, let me not use the word small. Let me use new YouTuber. Nobody knows you. The, 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 the organic bananas you have are your family members from your paternal side and your maternal side. Those are the only people that you can share those to. Of which some of them would be like, why would she always be sharing videos to us about how she's cooking? She thinks we don't have food, okay? So as a new YouTuber, you have to try as much as possible. Even if you upload such kind of content, try and upload another content that is searchable. Some of you do things about... Um, herbal medicine you can upload content about that some of you cook you can upload content about that because not everybody knows how to cook and people want to search how to cook something advantages of something spices this and that try and do something that if somebody is searching at least after your family members don't view your video finish then some other people will be searching and you'll be appearing in search here and there, here and there, and they'll be able to see the kind of content you're putting out there, okay? Another mistake is some people are so boring and so low. You are a new YouTuber, you're looking for followers. Darling, you've got to be bubbly, okay? You've got to be bubbly. You've got to be bubbly. If you have noticed most of my videos, I'm always very bubbly. It depends on the kind of video I am doing. Okay, because you've got to use that energy to make people come to you. If you're always there and you're like, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Linda and today people will be like, what? If you do that when you have all those bananas at your back, like all those a million subscribers, it's okay. <laughs> Feel at home because your house is complete. But if you're a new YouTuber, you've got to be like, welcome back to my channel. You know, you've got to call people to attention that, oh, there is a monkey talking here, okay? So that people will come. You understand? So try very much, try very much, the, as much as you can to keep the energy. Yeah. Be lively, okay? Be lively, be passionate, be energetic about all your content. Because if you're not energetic about what you're putting out there, how am I supposed to come and view you? Okay? Tell me. How am I supposed to come and view you? Another thing I want to say is that another mistake is some of you think that because it's YouTube, you can just come there with talking on your head and be talking. Let me tell you something. The way you dress gives you the confidence you need to deliver something. So why is this door closing? Now, I told you people that I am using, a, I am using natural light. So this door should not come and be closing now. Okay. 
Sorry for that. So I'm saying the way you dress will make people, will give you the confidence and also make people want to see you. There are some people that if you dress just funny like you're not serious, even if you want to put a serious content out there, they'll be like this one, see the way he's dressing. Are you even sure? He's even sure of what she wants to tell us. You understand? So to avoid those kinds of things, make sure that you dress in a presentable way. I'm not saying you go and buy designer clothes, designer earring, designer shoe. No. There's some cheap and simple things that you can wear that are looking good on you. Just to make people to want to listen to what you want to say. Because when you present yourself like you're all put together, like you know what you want to say, then of course people are going to listen to you. Listen, YouTube is huge, YouTube is big. Don't come to YouTube as a new YouTuber and you're thinking, oh, because I don't have bananas, people who are viewing me are people who are barrel pushers. No. YouTube can suggest your videos to anybody. It suggests your video to lecturers and professors. YouTube does suggest your video to lecturers and professors and doctors and nurses and every other person you think out there, researchers and researchees, if there's a word like that. Okay, so you have to try dress properly so that you can get your confidence. Then you make sure that your confidence is going to, to, to interpret these things to the people who are viewing you. People can just be looking at you and be, they'll be like, it seems she knows what she's saying. Even if she has small number of subscribers, I think it's just because she began, you know, they'll start thinking like you. Like they will start making excuses for you, okay? They'll be like, even though she has a small number of subscribers, I think the reason is because she just started recently. But give this girl two years, she's gonna be somewhere. Why are they talking like that? Because the way you're presenting yourself, what you're saying, you talk like you know what you're saying. You don't talk like, eh, eh, I want to say, eh, <clears throat> oh God, don't come out, eh, eh. People want to know what exactly you want to present. So make sure you have information about what exactly you want to present and present it well. Like present it properly. Present it from your heart. Because viewers have a way of telling whether what you're saying is true or not. They have a way of telling whether what you're saying is what is from your heart or not. They even have a way of noticing whether your smile is fake or not. Yes, in case you did not know, you have to know that today, okay? Another point is, most new YouTubers leave their description box empty, like absolutely empty and it's not good. The reason why it's not good is, you have to make sure that your description box has something to say about the video you're doing, because some people will come and click on a video and straight go to the description box. They want to see the synopsis of whatever you're doing or what you're saying in that particular video so that they know whether it's worth their time or not. So if you leave it empty and maybe the video you're doing is educative, is searchable, is something that many people need to view, then some of them wouldn't view just because your description box is empty and they don't want to sit there trying to figure out what you're talking about. And another thing is, they say the description box helps the YouTube algorithm. When your channel uh, title appears there on your title and the description box also, it is also there, then the YouTube algorithm will try to understand what the video is about and know which audience to promote it to. Last but not least, I want to talk about inconsistency and this is a big, big, biggest problem when it comes to new YouTubers. Some of you think that YouTube is a joke. Some of you think that because you don't have those numbers, because you do a video and you only get 50 views, now you have the ticket to go and be doing video, one video in one month. God, madam, it's not done like that. See? I know because of the miserable views you're getting, you'll be there thinking there's no need to, there's even no, no point to even do this video yourself. But let me tell you something, Rome wasn't built in a day, that is what I always say. Just keep doing you, keep posting, okay, keep posting consistently, like at least make sure every week you have a new content. It will also help your subscribers to understand your days of upload so they'll be there to be viewing you. It will also help the YouTube to see that you're consistent so that when the YouTube is deciding who to promote, <laughs> okay, you'll be lucky enough to appear in the list. But if you're somebody that you shoot video today, in the next four months, no video, your channel is empty, 
see even the subscribers you have now by then you will see that they have gone down but if you're uploading consistently you'll be gaining more subscribers even if you're getting one one subscribers every week as a new youtuber is a plus okay so these are some of the mistakes i thought i should come and discuss with you guys i know nobody's above mistake and that's why i made this video i am hoping and believing that as much as i had fun having this video you too you're gonna have fun viewing the video and getting educated in case you have been with me to the end now okay and you haven't thought of subscribing okay madam <laughs> if not for anything hmm? at least for the title of this video just consider clicking that red and getting yourself subscribed to join my family thank you so much for subscribing okay also turn on your bell so that next time i do another video or i'm going on a live stream you'll show get notified by youtube and you'll come and join me there and we can keep going and going and going and another thing i always open my comment section down below for people to give me views about this particular video and also about what other video or title or topic they want me to discuss in case you're new and you do not know in this house we do marriage and relationship advice we do lifestyle as well as youtube tips so this particular one is on youtube tips we did another one some few days ago and that was about marriage and relationships my darlings so that is what we do in this house so thank you so much for being with me to the end stay tuned stay cool be good i'll see you guys in my next video oh, oh, oh.